actually looking a little bit more bullish here, to be honest, on this. But yeah, more questions. I'll probably get stopped on that. Uh, yeah, so the highs were the ones to the left. Why do you only take a short on the NQ and not on the S right now? Uh, <laughs> because there's a lot happening, including reading this, speaking to you guys, commentating. And uh, yeah, it's not. Yeah, I guess it can, can be just a quick flick. But let's let's have a look. Why not on ES as well? Let's go to the micros. Um, because the, uh, the ES is... Look, so... You kind of need some time, so like sometimes you need to let, you know, at least two or three minutes form. So what you've had here is a higher high, okay? So like I said, typically you break out, come back down, back test. So now what you want to see is this could actually be a nice short. Do we have enough range? But I want to see a, a swing low form here, okay? So no rush. So we can put an alert there. Break that alert and we're going to get stopped on the uh, Nasdaq, okay? And then all of these lows here look ugly. So let's just put an alert here. And we'll just track this up. Okay. I can't find the multi view up on your chart. It's um It's been shared. It's definitely in Discord. I mean, ask customer service. They'll know. It's been shared so many times. It's in there. It's like a script. Just save it. Okay, there you go. Previous day high back test it. Let's have a look here. Are they pushing this high as well? Yeah, see, that's nice to more upside. I can tell you that for a second. So this, there you go. Yeah, when you see this here, look at the candles. That looks nice for a little bit more upside. Okay, uh, let's have a look at the... Uh, so it's lots of close invalidation. Just go to the daily and we'll clean some of these. Let's have a look at the XY. Didn't quite take that yet. Yeah, those lows are horrible, but yeah, you might get stopped. Okay, for that reason. Do you think it's possible to formulate if... <laughs> Who's this? MKV. Hmm. I'll, uh, I'll have to come back to you on this one because I'm working on something. Okay. I don't want to answer this question because I'm working on something and that kind of is going to spoil that. Uh, but basically, retracement if previous die. Yeah, I don't want to. Yeah, I'll, I'll pass that one because I'm working on something and you'll know why. MKV. I know you, you, you're here a while, so you, you'll know exactly. Um, question, Igor. If the market makers are taking a recent high but not taking a previous third... There. No. If the market makers are taking a recent high but not taking a previous further back high and thus creating a sequence of lower highs and taking out later and if they are the ones that fill their positions at lower high, aren't they taking themselves out and taking all of the yeah, that, like, yeah, you've lost me there, <laughs> too many highs and lows um, we do have some streams on liquidity um, so I definitely uh, watch those um, I mean, what I explained on the other stream the other day is it's very good to just understand like the, the liquidity and when I do the liquidity stream like well the, the template I'll probably go over that just very briefly so I'll answer the question a bit more in detail then okay uh, sorry I can't you know otherwise we'll be spending too much time trying to even read the question okay what is your take on the Nasdaq 
disagreeing with the rest of the indexes. Well, I mean, the, the Nasdaq is only composed of 100, so it'll be the 100, the 100 uh, stocks. So it, it's going to take a little bit, you know, whereby like the, 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 the ES will have 500 stocks, the, the, the Nasdaq will be just 100. So, you know, if those 100 are in line, then it'll move quicker. Okay, so it'll be a bit the couple. Okay, if that makes any sense. But, you know, they usually go in in tangent. Uh, except the amazing CCTR Richard. Do you have any tips, tricks to scalp on one minute? Yeah, use CCTR. Um, yeah, it's probably the best. Or, or 15 second and on like, you know, other markets and stuff. Um, hey, could you know? I know you've covered it loads of times, but can you remind me why do you don't like lows, even quick draw squiggly, ideal highs and lows like um, yes, I have done it. <laughs> I have done it many, many times, and it, it, it's just it, basically look. Just looking here on the left, can you see that? I like that. Okay, so you want to see one taken, two taken, and three to finish off being a high with a swing high on top. That is absolutely perfect. In fact, and then it gets taken, but a lot later. Did you see that? Like it gets taken out. But a lot later, I mean, it takes, I mean, this is the daily chart. So one, two, three, four, five, six, it's six down days from that high being form. Okay, so really nice. So one, two, three. Okay, and then the same to the downside. So if you see that to the downside, but when you have the other way around like this, see, I don't like that. Just, just like I don't like that to the downside. So I'll show you. So here. That, like, I mean, this is going to pop higher. I mean, you might as well just close this position because it's going to go pop. And, but I'll leave it for you to see, but this is going to pop. I, I kind of like how it's doing this thing here. But yeah, these lows here, they look ugly. And there's like a lot of liquidity resting below here. Okay, especially with this low already made at the same low. So you've got one, two, but then all of these. Okay, so resistance probably takes so yeah it's a point of control though yeah we do have quite good confluence here for a nice quick short scalp it's squeezing here i mean it look let's just keep an eye here because this is going to pop like any time now so we'll just we'll just watch because it's going to pop um but that's what i like to see like see for example here like if you see oh, there you go pop if you see these then you want to go take them if you see that Oops. There. If you see that, then you want to go take it because there's liquidity. Come on, you dump it. Uh, I hope that makes sense. Maybe I should do a stream. I'll tell you what, when I do the uh, template stream, I'll probably briefly talk on it. Okay. Uh, mm -mm -mm. Mm -hmm. So BTC... Didn't quite take that high yet. I would like to see BTC with another push higher. And I'll show you why. Because that high there, let's go to one hour. Yeah, 16.3 would be nice. Brilliant. Thanks. You're welcome. Uh, yeah, see this high here. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah, it, it, I, it, I'd like all markets to push high a little bit. Let's have a look. So this way is taking. Let's go down to a one minute and see if we do get that short now on the back test. There you go. So see how time is important. Look, now you actually have something to work with. This will be a fractal shortly. Okay. If this candle managed to close above, there you go. So fractal, there you go. Exactly as it was happening. So that's nice to see. And now you have this one broken. That's even better. So now here, this could be that previous day back test that turns into a short, really short invalidation. Okay. So up there. So let's have a look at the NASDAQ. It should be back above. Okay. Let's have a quick look. I'll let that run. It doesn't matter. Yeah, that's it. It's the multi VWAP. That's what it's called. Uh, uh, full stream on market makers. 